what's good youtube pictures by schoolboy here welcome back to another photoshop tutorial i know i haven't uploaded in a very long time but um, i will try and explain the reason why i wasn't uploading in a different video but in today's video i'm going to show you how to get the melanin skin tone color grade in just some few steps about two or three steps and then you are done so today this is the image that we are going to use as you can see this image has already been retouched i'll try and uh, do a recorded tutorial on how i retouched this amazing image i saw i shot some time ago all right so the first thing that we are going to do is to create a black and white adjustment layer so you go ahead and click on your adjustment layer button and then you you select your black and white adjustment layer so here is it all right so with the black and white adjustment layer created we are going to change the blend mode from normal to multiply so as you can see as soon as i change the blend mode from normal to multiply the the effect has already started taking place so as you can see it has made the skin tones very very dark so now the next thing that we are going to do is to play with the reds and the yellows since the skin color is the skin color contains more of these colors there are no greens or cyans or blues in the skin tones the skin tone contains mostly reds and yellows so we are going to play with the reds and yellows to suit the picture that we are you know color grading today so i think with the reds i'm going to bring it up a little bit up to this place and then with the yellows too i'm going to open it up just a little bit so i think right about here right about here is fine so here is our before and after so the next thing that we are going to do is to bring down the opacity so we are going to go down all the way to zero and start bringing up small by small to a number which you know works well with the image so i'm going to bring it up just little by little and if it's okay i will stop so i think about 60 to 70 there about it's okay for me so i think 70 69 70 is okay so here is the before and here is the after um so the next thing that we are going to do is to add a little bit of blues to it if you've noticed every melanin skin tone um color grade or every melanin skin tone had this kind of bluish tint to it so that's what we are going to try and recreate as we all know this brownish skin tones has has reds in it so that's the the, the melanin skin tone the melanin also has blues a little bit of blue bluish tint in it so that's why we are going to try and recreate so we are going to go back to our adjustment layer button click on it and then we are going to select photo filter this time around we are going to select a cool filter a cooling filter because we are trying to recreate the cool tones in a melanin skin tone so i think the photo filter we select the cooling filter and that is okay but one thing that you've noticed is all these adjustments we just made are affecting it's affecting the background and that is something that we don't want so what we are going to do is to first turn off our photo filter layer select our black and white black and white adjustment layer make sure you select this layer right here don't select the um the layer thumbnail right here make sure this white box is selected and then you come here you come to your tools and select your magic one two now if you select this two as you see right up here we have select subject i could have selected my subject manually but if you are using the latest version of photoshop i think um, you are going to have this option right here i am using the photoshop 2019 currently so i have the select subject here so i'm going to click on the select subject 
and with artificial intelligence photoshop is going to select the subject for me as you can see so the next thing that i'm going to do is to right click and then select inverse so it will reverse the selection from the from the the subject to the background that's basically what i just did and with that i'll just hold control and then click i so as you can see i inverted the selected area which means i painted black on the selected area and as we all know in photoshop black height and white reviews so i've i've hidden um the, the the effect from the background so i've painted the background black to hide the effect from the background so if i turn it off and on as you can see the effect is only taking place on the subject all right so we are going to repeat the same steps for the photo filter just to you know get it out of the um of the background i could have selected a brush and then with my foreground color being black painted off but i think um I, it will be a little imperfect so to avoid that that is why i use this technique so i'm going to select subject again and then once it's done selecting i will inverse the the selection i will inverse it invert it sorry and then i'll hold control and then click i to get it off the background so as you can see let's put our uh, adjustment in a group and name it and name it melanin and just like that here is a before and after before and after if you think it's a little too much you can always come to the adjustment and bring down your opacity just a little bit or you can open the tab and play with your reds and yellows just to balance it on the on the skin tones just the way you want so this is a very quick and easy way to you know get the melanin skin tone in just some few minutes you can create an action with this and then you it will probably be done in like two seconds all right so that will be the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new oh there is one thing if you want to clear it out of the cloth as you can see the melanin skin tone is currently affecting um her, her red shirt but i think it's cool i like how it looks but if you want to clean it out you can select the brush to make sure your foreground color is black and then you just brush it off the places that you don't want the action to you know to show so as you can see i just brushed it off her clothes and uh it's no more affecting her clothes so here is the before and after as you can see it's only affecting the skin tones so that will be it for today's video i hope you learned something new if you did please consider subscribing turn on your post notification to get notified anytime anytime there's a new upload um, i'll see you in my next video peace out